Hello everyone, today on this lecture we will discuss about the healthcare infrastructure of India. So in India, that is the, uh, the mainly the public health sectors are, uh, public health also, uh, sectors are providing health and other than public health sector, there is the private health organization, private, private structures are there and also other structures are there. So in, in uh, the, um, for the structure, for the health, for the smooth running of a healthcare system, so we need a infrastructure. So infrastructure or the healthcare system infrastructure is in prerequisites of a healthcare delivery system. So often the, a country is known by its own healthcare infrastructure. So it is an indicator to understand the health provision and the welfare mechanism of a country. So if the infrastructure is the building or you say the structure, it is an indicator to understand the healthcare provision and also the welfare mechanism of a country. So for a uh, smooth running of an healthcare system or in the state level or you say central level or in the grassroots level so we need a good platform or you say we need a uh, well equipped or well stocked healthcare infrastructure so after independence india has uh, established vast number of infrastructure so in uh, for, uh, there are the, the in, in india the health infrastructure is a mix of some of the private sectors some of the public health sector some of the private sector and some indigenous med, med, indigenous system of medicine and other is the voluntary addition. So, we will now discuss one by one. So, what is primary, uh, what is the public health sector? So, in the public health sector, the concept uh, was established uh, in 1983 by the National Health Policy. His, his uh, give emphasis, uh, give uh, uh, emphasis on the holistic care approach or you say the primary health care approach to reach all the people so that's why he was uh, pro he made some provision or you say the healthcare center through which health will be rich health for all that will be rich to all the people so then healthcare center we see sub centers are there so in 5000 population in rural area we find a sub center then to the primary health center about 30000 population there is a one of the primary health centers are there community health center that is 80000 to 1.2 uh, lakhs uh, population there is a community health centers and also so the subdivisional hospital and district hospitals are there so by this provision from the grassroots level to the rural area from the rural to from the urban area the health service will be provided this is come under primary uh, public health sector in public sector there is another division is there that is called the health insurance so in uh, in our uh, india some of the health insurance schemes are going on in health insurance scheme it is a it is a social security or you say it's an organization statutory organization or uh, that will provide the those who are state uh, government employees they will or uh, those who are in central government employee they have get the benefit of medical benefits and also the cash benefits so in the uh, esi that is the employee state insurance scheme in 1948 by the state insurance act it was established by which the people of who are working on who are the employee of the government and their uh, dependents or even their the family member they will get some of the health services like during time of illness and uh, from uh, in the uh, in the maternal services and also uh, in accidents or in uh, in uh, surgery cases also so similarly central government cghs central government health schemes are also be uh, established in 1954 by the government of india to provide health services those who were employee of central government and those who are getting the pension or they are the or they are the dependent uh, or they are the relatives of this central government employee so in addition to this insurance health insulation other agencies are there other uh, other agencies are there like uh, defense health services and railway health services are going on in defense health services is uh, those who are the employee of center uh, of uh, uh, Indian Navy or in uh, Air Force or in uh, Army, so they are um, their uh, relatives or the employees that employ also get some health benefits by this defense health service. And those who are employee of railway, they also get also the health services, better health services by the railway health service services infrastructure. So this is the public health sector we are discussing the problem and after this 
the the the, the, the is the population is uh, is uh, where in india the population is the, la the largest population so this is all, all the health services not provided by the public health sector so it depends some of the private sector so then in private sector now we see number of private sectors are hospitals are going on so in private health services what will become the private hospital polyclinics nursing homes and dispensary they are come under this public private health sector so the first we discuss about the private hospital so the private hospital we know that there will be uh, some uh, the uh, there may be small uh, there will be uh, there will be uh, uh, established in large community or in small community and it will also provide surgery diagnostic services and the specialist treatment that will be provided by the nursing home by the uh, private hospitals similarly polyclinics this is the outpatient outpatient facility for the diagnostic and consultation for any special special age consultation so that can be given by the by uh, that can be pro provided to the people by this structure that is the private sector that is the polyclinic similarly nursing home they are also providing short term treatment and also the long term treatment health services are provided in the nursing homes and dispensary outpatient services with general medicine care so here the general health services will be provided by this dispensary Second, third one, we these are this all two. These are the the public health sector and the private health sector. That is, uh, that is the this fundamental is the allopathy fundamentality fundamental. Next to the indigenous system of medicine, that is the ISM. This is based on the ancient cult, ancient Hindu culture. So for the ISM that is stand for indigenous system of medicine. Yet under the, this section come that is the Ayurveda, Yunani, Shiddha, and Homeopathy. From from first letters, it the Ayush. From from this first letter, the Ayush is the his name is coined that is the Ayush. So some of the state now Ayush Ministry uh, is a separate department was established, and some of the states they are. No, the ice department is running on next the other another sector is that is the voluntary agency so you know in india there is number of health programs are going on so some of the health programs like uh, malaria control program uh, other uh, blindness control program or aids control program any program so some of the programs that can be sponsored by center and some of the program that is the both the center and the state government is sponsored so the fund is the some of the fund will be there for smooth for this health program so this health organ the voluntary organization they get this fund and they spend this money for the people so who are the who need this care so this some of the health uh, agency voluntary agency are like indian risk society Bharata Shebak Samaj and All India Blind Relief Society, Indian Medical Association, All India Dental Association, these are collect the fund and spend this money in the people, for the people. So this is all about the health infrastructure in India. So in within India or you say within a country, so health services is not only provided by the public health sector so some of the people have to depend upon the private sector and although the other if uh, someone is interested in the uh, in the ayush indigenous system of medicine and some of the voluntary agencies are there who will carry out the health the proper delivery of the health services so this uh, on this sector on this chapter we discuss about the health infrastructure next class we'll discuss about the public health sector because public health sector is an important topic other than other than this one so this uh, this uh, this this sector public health sector we will discuss one by one the sub center primary health center community health center sub divisional hospital and the district hospital thank you for watching and please keep on subscribing